Each week, The Heart of Detroit highlights an inspirational story of people who overcome odds, contribute to their community, or simply live their lives to inspire others. Welcome to The Heart of Detroit. More than 40 years ago, Tony McElwain was homeless, having run away from an abusive and violent husband. I ended up in this abandoned home with these four babies. And I walked around the alley in the dumpster and I said, well, maybe I could find them some food and wipe it off. And this big rat jumps out. And this big rat looks at me like, ha ha, I got the food before you got it. And I'm saying to myself, that rat is smarter than I am. Mm. So I dropped down to my knees. I said, Lord, if you just open up a door for me, just show me how to get there, I will give back the rest of my life. And she has. After finding a job at a cleaners, she put herself back to school and became one of Detroit's most beloved neighborhood activists, running programs to help others for over 30 years in her hard-hit community of Ravendale. 85% are at or below the poverty level. And all we want to do is give them an opportunity to move their lives forward. Tony helped hundreds of dropouts get back on an educational track, ran block programs, computer classes. She chased funding, calling herself a professional beggar. But recently, the funding dried up and her center closed. If you've seen the tears of the people that said, Tony, you can't close up. But, I mean, if you can't keep your lights on and you can't keep your gas on, you But know, that just became too difficult It just closed year. in December. The good news is a new building has been offered, even bigger. And so, at age 66... You you're know, going to be a professional beggar again? I'm going to be a professional beggar. Are you doing it with us right now? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Someone like Tony could have straightened out and never looked back. Instead, she never forgot her promise in that alley. I know they felt like I do. The rats are smarter than they are. I don't want anybody else to feel like that. Giving over three decades of community service and looking to continue, Tony McElwain just needs a little help to keep pumping the heart of Detroit.